In this video, we're going to take a look at district policies. To get to district policies, we need to click our gear icon or manage district and then go to the settings tab at the top. In district policies, we are going to look at some of the policies that will both secure your district and keep rostering or login methods consistent. We are going to start with the district sign-on policy here. The district sign-on policy is going to affect only the users who use the district URL. Choose the option or options here in how you want teachers to log in based on the single sign-on providers you all have. If you need to enforce these policies and make sure users only sign up this particular way, you'll go to the district profile to access your district URL. The next thing we will talk about here is the district sign-up policy. This is where you decide if teachers and students can sign up. If you are a full district upgrade and have done a CSV roster upload or the CleverSync, our suggestion is to turn off the teacher signups. Teachers will automatically be added and will not need to sign up manually. If a new teacher does need to be added to the district, the admin can do this in less than a minute. For the student sign up, students can only sign up if they have a teacher's class code, so this should not be much of an issue. Student enrollment policy and allowing teachers to search and enroll students is a quick and effective way for teachers to search by student name to find their students in the system and add them to their class. The student must first have an account before they can search for them, but once they do, the teacher can quickly move them between classes or another teacher that's new to Edge Elastic can add a student manually by searching and enrolling them into their class. In Allow Student Addition With, you can manage how teachers are allowed to add students manually. If all of the students have Google emails or Office 365 emails, make sure to turn off the first name and last name option. While the first name and last name option is necessary for non-email accounts, if a teacher or teachers add the same student to their classes using this method, it will create a new duplicate account each time. Please see the search and enroll or rostering using class code article in the description below to learn how to avoid duplicate accounts when using the first name and last name option. This next option, allow school level admin, will determine how much access school level admins get. If you turn this feature on, you are giving school admins the rights to their own settings tab that includes all of the features that you as a district admin have. Unchecking this will make sure that the school follows your settings you put in place for the district. We have allowed domains for teachers and for students. This is an important step in blocking personal accounts from signing up to your district. This feature provides even more security when the email domain is different from the teachers and students as it will help prevent students from accidentally signing up as teachers. When a teacher signs up to Edge Elastic, they first need to join a school. If they can't find their school, they have the option to recommend a school. To make sure that only schools within your district are created, we suggest setting the domain for recommending schools here. You can just add your email domain here to make sure that only people within your domain can add schools to your district. Third-party integrations is for setting what method you want your teachers to be able to sync. When you are syncing with Clever, you will have the option to sync with any of these other options. However, Please speak to your customer success manager to make sure you understand the positives and negatives and how to make the integration as smooth as possible. When only choosing one method, the Google Classroom option is done completely by the teachers and requires no district IT help to get started right away. Over summer, you might decide to use the Disable Student Login button to make sure that students do not access materials or classes before the school year begins. And finally, you can set your allowed IP address that will require students to be on a specific IP address for password controlled assessments, keeping students from doing assessments at home. The use case here is for your high stakes benchmark assessments. Please keep in mind, this will affect all level of assessments, not only benchmarks. This means that if a teacher gives an assessment that they want the students to take at home, the students will not have availability to it if it has a password because they are not on the correct IP address. 